All right, Slack Laser fans. The box says Shark Boy. You might know it better as Marn Jensen's film Beyond the Reef. That's what the title of the movie says on there, too. So let's check it out Beyond the Reef. All right, we're in French Polynesia somewhere, Bora Bora, apparently. And uh, we have some people diving for pearls, and sure shit, they're finding them. This film boasts some great underwater photography. And um, we have a couple of kids here, Tikoyo and Diana. There are also sharks in the water here, as this poor guy is about to find out. Rescue. Tokoyo finds a baby shark. It's not breathing. Do 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 do. A shark can only breathe when it's moving. Move it. Tell him to open his gills. I believe that's his grandfather. He calls him Manadu. Spirits of the dead sometimes live on in shark. This shark is good. One day a big spirit will live inside him. She's going to Los Angeles I'll be back. for schooling or whatever. Manadu's dying. I don't want to be all alone. I ask your shark to, to let my spirit live on inside him. About ten years have now passed and he's grown. Manadu! It's the great red Manadu River! It comes from America! Maybe between five and ten years, who knows. He's still taking care of that shark, which is also full grown. Thank you. And guess who's returning on that plane? It's Diana. She's been gone all this time and she's brought her friend Millie from LA. Beautiful boys. I just know I'm going to get lucky, Diana. I just know it. Marin Jensen. That night Takoyo sees her dancing. But he's too shy to approach her. So he leaves and she continues to dance the night away. I was afraid to talk to her tonight. She was so beautiful. When we were children. But the next day he's not afraid. I'm Tikoyo. There's a subplot about some developers who want to uh, build a great big hotel complex in this area. I came here to see if the legend of the forbidden pearls was true. And we used to call him Money. Has your friend Takoyo mentioned him to you this morning? Do you think he's still alive? <laughs> She's okay, though. I thought that shark kills someone the next day. I think there's some jealousy in that shark. Ask him yourself. <laughs> you even keep him in the house? No. Only at Shark eats other shark too. So apparently, this Manadu is guarding some sort of secret pearl bed or something like that. And apparently, uh, Takoya is the only one who knows where it is. But he found a special pearl for a special girl. Apparently, that shark protects not only the pearl bed, but Takoya also. Since he died, this spirit lives in the body of the shark. The next day, both Takoyo and Diana swim with Manadu. 
They're basically playing with them, riding them, having fun. I got the girl, but she never told me what to do with it. So I gave it to Diana. You won't have to worry about me now. I'm not alone anymore. Unless, developers unless again. My, unless my Hawaiian friend got there before you. What do you mean? Well, he's been missing for several days now. And the last time he saw him, all he did was talk about... He got eaten by that shark. I think he's gone back out to the sea. Forever. I guess so. He said he didn't need man to do anymore, so I guess they're done. What helped you do it again? That's I am his brother. Finds out, die for the rest of the pearls, if there are He's gonna refuse to help him though. Other people go down looking for those pearls though, but they don't fare very well. And now an angry mob is formed. They want that shark. You with me? Yes, kill him slowly with barbs and he stops. Would you make till he kills more of your family? That's what we're all here, right? To kill the shark. Kill so just like in Jaws, tons of fishermen go out to try to capture and net the shark. And they're successful. Takoyo swims down to cut him out, though. But as he's running out of air, Diana shows up to give him some of her air. Together, they escape, and the shark escapes. But, uh... Diana's brother beats the crap out of Tokoyo. He and three other guys, it was four against one, and they burn his hut. It's decided that Diana and Tokoyo, or Diana and Millie, gotta go back to the United States, but then Manadu dumps their boat over. Which I guess was Manadu's way of uh, making her stay. Which is exactly what's gonna happen, of course. And that's our film. Alright, let's talk about the movie Beyond the Reef. Now this DVD says Shark Boy. It's also been known as Shark Boy of Bora Bora, but it's Beyond the Reef. In fact, even though this box says Shark Boy on it, the title of the screen obviously said Beyond the Reef. This is a forgotten film from the very early 80s, 1981. Actually, it was filmed and completed in 1979, but shelved for two years and released in 81. It showed up on cable in 1982, and I remember seeing little bits of it here and there. D didn't see much of it, though, but I ended up picking up a, uh, a PAL VHS tape of it. In fact, I think I have two of them, actually, uh, in the early 2000s, and that's where I first became uh, acquainted with the movie. And um, this is a PAL DVD, too, by the way. It's not available on DVD in this country. So, anyway, it's a movie, I think it was filmed in Bora Bora. It says French Polynesia. But I don't know enough about geography to know if Bora Bora is part of French Polynesia. Let's just assume it is. Anyway, uh, we have two kids. They're maybe about uh, 10 years old or so, Takoya and uh, Diana. And they're, they're friends. And, you know, there's obviously a little spark between them in their young age. Well, Diana is then sent to the United States to complete her education. And then she's just gone out of his life. Meanwhile, before she left, uh, Takoya found this little baby shark that got into the uh, pond area there. And... Uh, his grandfather, I think it's his grandfather, his, his, who's named Manadu, says it's a special shark. You know, someday that shark will have a spirit that lives within it. Well, Manadu dies shortly after that, and Manadu says, I'm sorry, yeah, the old man Manadu says, I have asked your shark to uh, take my spirit. So in other words, anytime you speak to the shark, you'll be speaking to me, or something like that anyway. And then the old man dies. Well, so that's what happens. He ends up raising this shark in the water, uh, in the ocean there. Uh, and he calls it Manadu, uh, because named after his grandfather, whoever the hell that was. Um, and by this time, you know, maybe it's five, six, seven, eight years have passed. I said 10 years. I don't think it was that long, but who knows? And he's grown up now and he's got a full grown tiger shark, uh, uh, to play with. It's his, it's his friend. He feeds it, whatever. So, and all of a sudden Diana comes back to, to, to Bora Bora, the island where they are. And she hasn't been back since she left. She's an adult now too very young adult. And she's bringing her friend Millie, um, who's kind of like a comic relief here. And uh, she's just returning to visit her homeland, I guess. Um, Takoya sees her, but he's a little too shy to say anything. But then the next day he does. She doesn't recognize him at first, but then he, when he tells who he, is, who, who he is, she embraces him. And then they're like a couple again. 
And there's a subplot here with some, like, I don't know if they're Japanese developers or what, that they want to make this giant island resort there. And Manadu, uh, the shark, apparently is guarding some special pearl bed with these special black pearls down under the water somewhere. And only Takoyo knows where they are. And anybody ever tries to get close to them, Manadu comes and eats them, basically. Uh, Manadu protects that pearl bed, and he also protects Takoyo. Well... Koyo ends up getting one of the pearls and gives it to uh, uh, Diana. And then uh, he tells Di he tells Manadu that, hey, I think I'm good now. I don't need you anymore. I he didn't say that in a bad way. It's like, I don't need your protection anymore. I'm grown up now. I have Diana, blah, 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 whatever. So the shark leaves. Meanwhile, Diana's brother, who's like in cahoots with these developers, uh, wants him to go down and get more black pearls because then they can get rich and open this resort, whatever. He refuses. They beat him up. Um, they try to dive themselves, but then Manadu comes back and eats them all, attacks them all. Well, it's decided then that uh, Millie and, and Diana need to go back to the States. Um, Manadu shows up. As they're leaving in their boat, he tips their boat over and knocks them in the water so they can't leave. Um, Takoyo swims out to basically save them. Next thing you know, they're swimming around with Manadu, and uh, they're having a good time, and it's clear that they're going to stay. And they're going to be a couple. There you go. That's it. That's 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 Beyond the Reef, the Shark Boy of Bora Bora. You know, um, it's it's actually a pretty decent movie. It's very uh, family friendly, and um, it's got some absolutely breathtaking, beautiful scenery, the underwater shots and everything. And this was this was before CGI or anything. So uh, these were real sharks they were playing with here. It was it, it was unbelievable. It was really. It was really cool, actually. Um, Marin Jensen. Marin Jensen, you might know her best from Battlestar Galactica. She was also in the movie Deadly Blessing. Did very few things, and then she just retired from show business. Um, but she is looking her absolute best here. She's in bikinis, <laughs> swimsuits, and she looks gorgeous. I think if you looked really quickly, you might see a quick little nipple, too, from her in this movie. I'm not sure. But absolutely stunning, beautiful, beautiful woman. And in fact, I think she was... Uh, our mother was Hawaiian, so she kind of had that uh, Polynesian look to her a little bit, too. So, But anyway, that is Beyond the Reef. Like I said, not available on DVD in this country. There's a couple of PAL versions available. One is under the title Beyond the Reef, which has the similar box art of the PAL, D or PAL VHS tapes that I have. However, I saw one copy of that on eBay right now, and it was like $95. Whoa. However, if I go on Amazon uh, UK, you can find Shark Boy. And this was decently priced. I think it was about 12 bucks or so, or 12 euros or whatever it is. So so I ordered it that way. And actually, in spite of all this COVID stuff going on right now, it got here pretty quick. So anyway, so that's the one I would recommend getting at this point uh, if you can track it down. I'm sure you can find Shark Boy on eBay too. But it's right now, as, as we speak right now, um, you can get this pretty reasonably priced on Amazon UK. So there you go. That is Shark Boy, a.k.a. Beyond the Reef. It's a good movie. I'm curious if anybody else has seen this thing. It's one of those films I think if you did see it back in the day, it's very memorable. But if you've never seen it, you've never heard of it and don't know nothing about it. So, But anyway, that's it. Beyond the Reef. Check it out. Leave some comments. Tell me about it. Watch it. Bye.